What's up, y'all? I'm finna do a reading. I'm in the car. And I decided to do a reading. Okay. I don't got no messages. You know what I'm saying? Well, I actually do. I guess I... But I don't know if it's gonna be pertaining to this reading. Okay, so whoever you are... um, Yeah, I gonna get a message now. Okay, so whoever you are... Um, you don't you don't have kids and you want a child so bad. You know, you never had kids, you've been trying to try with different people, but it didn't work out for whatever reason. But to let you know whoever you are, this could be for a free people because um no you know some people can't get pregnant, but you know, some people it's just really, really easy to for them to get pregnant. So, with that being said, um it's like um you want kids, but you can't have them, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because God has a, it's, God um, holds a, um, what is it like a, um, a, you have a special plate. Now I'm not saying that right. Let me let me rephrase it. Okay, put it like this. Okay, so it's not that it is that. So everybody you meet is not the one. So you know everybody have kids by different people, and they not the one right, and you move on. But you have a special. Um, you can say purpose, destiny, however you want to say it. And he's not just going to, you know, um, let you have a child by anyone. You know what I'm saying? It got to be somebody special just like you. You know what I'm saying? Because you are chosen, right? So, um, whoever you are, you are chosen. And he don't want you to have a baby by anybody but somebody else that's chosen. See, somebody was handpicked for you. You know what I'm saying? Just like you handpicked for somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm getting like twin flame vibes and shit like that. Um, a union. So when you get into this union, that's when you're gonna have this child, if that makes sense. Okay. That's exactly when you're gonna have this child. But until then, until you meet the one, because God's not just gonna he's not gonna do it. Point blank period don't care if you want a child or not. He doesn't care if you want a child or not. You know, he sees you, but you're not gonna have this child until you get into this purpose and then you meet this twin flame or you know how to have it that resonates. But that's why you haven't had one yet. So whoever you are, that's why you haven't had one yet. Okay, let's see if I can get a message referring to that. So most of you all want to know. I'm hearing, I'm hearing intuitively that you want to know if you're on your your um twin flame journey or not. You know what I'm saying? You want to know that. And most of you all have met your twin flame. You know who this twin flame is. Um, but it's just not working for whatever reason. It's a lot of a lot of people don't even you know they know they twin flame and most people don't even know they twin flame but they don't even want to be in a union with they twin flame like they rather like love is not in the forecast for most people you know what I'm saying they don't give a, they don't care because they got a twin flame they just it's not there for them you know what I'm saying but that's who God handpicked for you if that makes sense so let's just see what comes out. So. I don't know why I hear that song. Uh, uh, damn, it lost my, uh, I think it's, uh, fucking rubber tussin. Don't know why, uh, 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 AZ right now. And I don't know. I, and I'm also getting somebody think you a fucking tease. I don't know who you is, but they, somebody who, whoever, they think you a tease, okay, or something like that. Whew. Don't you do that. Okay, we have benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance. So that's what I'm saying. So um like whoever you are and like you know your twin flame, or maybe if you don't, okay, and you like, I just don't want this twin twin flame journey. I'm just not into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not into love right now. I'm into my kids or I'm into my uh business or you know what I'm saying, whatever you're into, you know what I'm saying, which is totally fine, but um Spirit is telling me to tell you that it's okay. Give somebody the benefit benefit of the doubt. Give give the give the relationship a chance, okay? And if you do know that person and y'all just split up for that for whatever reason, give their relationship a chance. Look, look when I spent the day, divine timing, okay? A uh, serendipity, a serendipity, serendipitous, <laughs> serendipity. What does serendipity mean? It says a serendipity event. Okay, and then we have a spirit soul path, a person, um, a personal evolution within your relationship. So, and then serendipity. I don't, 
I sleep no, but I don't want to be wrong. So we're gonna look this shit up and it be. Okay, let me see. Whew. Serendipity. A fortunate stro stroke of serendipity. Okay, the occurrence of development of events by, ch by chance in a happy, beneficial way. Yeah, so I do think it's going to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? It says the magical, the, uh, it says a happy accident. A chance encounter that turns your life upside down for the better. Okay, so that's what they mean. A chance, a, yeah, a chance encounter that turns your life upside down so i don't know for many of you all think you're so for, for most of you all you're gonna meet this person you don't know it yet but you're gonna meet this person okay so i feel like this is for whoever like you like i don't want to do this i'm not into the twin flame journey it says give your relationship a chance okay and if y'all separated for whatever reason y'all broke up y'all come back together it's okay give this relationship a chance okay because everything happens at divine timing and for some of you all you're gonna meet this person okay you're going to meet this person. You haven't met them yet, but it's going to turn your life upside down when you meet this person. For the good, though, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like a happy change. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see what else. I don't know why you're giving uh, 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 right now. I'm hearing it. So look, we got divine timing, okay? So we just saw it, okay? We have the and then we look, oh look, we're sticking out. Open your heart, okay? So it says, open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all, okay? And then we have divine timing, a serendipity, a, a serendipity of it. So I feel like, uh, yeah, you're gonna meet this person, and it's gonna be like a happily ever after fairy tale, you know? Like me growing up, like I was into the whole Cinderella thing, the uh, kiss the frog, and it turned into a prince, and like I was all for all of that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, look, Bonnie. So yeah, and um, like I've totally been with that. Most of you all probably like, who would want the fairy tale dream wedding, the fairy tale, the love of your life? Who would want that, right? Okay, so like, then, then look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, yeah, so some of you all friends on your twin flame. Whoever this twin flame is, you friends on them, okay? Because we have, look, we have friends on them, we have twin flame. So you friends on them, so I don't know if you like, it's better to be friends. Y'all still communicate some type of way. That's for some of y'all, not all of y'all. Okay, then we have bonding. It says, as you get to know each other and discover many things in common. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody, somebody finna have a serendipity event and you finna meet this person. And I just heard bells. Okay, so yeah, you finna meet this person and it's gonna be all good. Okay, it's all good in the hood. Okay, so let's see. Baby. Never do. I'm reading this song again. Never do what I was missing. But I do once we start kissing. I found out something like that. Something like that. Y'all, and I'm looking at a statue of an angel right now. It's an angel. Obviously, I'm not at home. So, yeah, I'm looking at a statue of an angel. <laughs> Okay, it says align your intention, your intentions with your actions. So, speaking of twin flame, this can relate to anything. It don't have to just be the twin flame journey. But if that's what you want, if that's what you're looking for, align your intentions with your actions. So, uh, whatever you, whatever you're wanting, you have to be aligned with it, right, for it to happen. It's not just gonna happen because you want it to happen. So, do what you need to do to make it happen. Let's see. One oh five. Uh, somebody needs to look up the angel number one oh five. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it. Okay, whoever you are, you are perfectly beautiful. Okay, okay. Listen. 
See, it's different shapes and sizes women's, right? So, at least you say it could be men or women. I don't know. For some of you all, your twin flying could be, like, in a gym. You know what I'm saying? Working out for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could be, like, on the heavy side or something. And they've been working out. Maybe they think you're not going to like them because uh, of their size or weight or whatever. But that's just not the case. Love is love. It don't matter what shape, size, color you are. It doesn't matter. Okay? Yeah. Embrace your inner your inner your inner divine goddess so embrace embrace that embrace embrace yourself embrace your your shape size color it doesn't matter um embrace that inner divine goddess in yourself within yourself whether you're masculine or feminine okay uh, let's see 105 let's look up it okay yeah okay Okay. Some about he said something here about spiritual revelations. Let me go. Hold on, yeah. It says developing one spiritual aspect. Is that this this embracing your inner goddess? Okay, it says developing one spiritual aspect, making positive life choices and decisions, um, soul purpose. We create our own realities. This is actually what I'm saying. Like when I first started, that's what I, I was talking about. I was like, um, you know, um, of course you. Let me see. It says create your own reality. It's talking about your soul purpose. That's what I'm saying. You was never going to meet the one. You was never going to meet the person that you were going to have this child with until you got on your purpose, until you found your divine purpose, you know what I'm saying, walk that path, and then you have somebody that's doing the same thing as you, and they walk in the path too. Y'all walk it separately, but when y'all come together, it's going to be as one, one heart, one soul, right? That's what I'm getting. I'm hearing geese or goose, gooses. Y'all hear that? There could be somebody's spirit animal. Y'all, somebody need to look that up. Geese, goose. What is the spirit meaning of goose, geeses? Whatever they call geeses, gooses. <laughs> yeah, so, but you never was going to find a person, to the right person that you were going to have this child with until you, you know, get on this spiritual journey. Because, God, cause like, God hand pick you, right? You're special, just like. This twin flame, they special too. Whoever your twin flame, they special. Both y'all together, 13, 13 on the clock. And both y'all come together. This is going to be a spiritual thing, a spiritual union. And he going he gonna to give you that child. He don't want you to have no child by no anybody. It's just not going to work. That, that's not not his child. Not his child. God said, not my child. No, uh, we're going to do this the right way with you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this the right way. It said, manifest as, as you wish. You can't align yourself if you... If you're not manifesting positively, you know what I'm saying? You have to manifest positive, positive, positively. Align your intentions with your actions. So, um, you know, and it's even like saying your affirmations, love affirmations and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Keeping a positive attitude. Um, affirm, it's affirm your desires. You know, talk to your angels. Let them know what you want. Uh, be grateful for all that was to come. You know what I'm saying? All that is to come, however you want to say it. Y'all know I'm country. I'm a country talker. Yeah, so let's see. Spiritual meaning of geese. Okay, geese. Okay, so it said geese. Geese. I'm going to say geese, y'all. Y'all know country. So geese represent determination, purposely. Um, purpose. Pur okay, determination, purposeful movement, and being able to pilot. For our life's journey. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. Journey, right? Your spiritual journey, your life journey. Um, it's also talking about uh productive productively produ mind, I can't talk for shit today. Productive product Productively. Productive 
productively, new ideas, joy, guidance, teamwork, quest, fulfillment, watchful, and wisdom. That's what geeks so You can look it up. You know what I'm saying? You can look it up. And then it says in the Bible, geese symbolizes the Holy Spirit. Bro. Bro. Said to Christian symbol for the Holy Spirit. Sometimes God's Spirit hovers um, comf comfortingly like a dove, but the Spirit also surprises us and disturbs our plans like a wild and unpredictable goose. The Holy Spirit sweeps in unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Okay? I'm telling you, bro, why I go, is the Holy Spirit, what, what are we talking about? What the hell are we talking about? Bro, I'm hearing geese. I know y'all heard them geese. I guess where I meant they got geese. I don't know. I guess they were flying. I don't know. I guess. But anyway, so that's what that means, Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is not finna bless you, not finna bless you with this child until you do this spiritual union thing. I mean, yeah, so it's, it's these um, um twin flame things. So it's it's totally okay. You know what I'm saying? Despite what you what you feel about love and how you feel, but the spirit is telling you that it's it's okay. It's 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 okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have uh stop judge it says stop judging and start loving. So don't judge people, love people. You know what I'm saying? Like this person, um whoever your twin flame is, whoever this person is, they think that you're gonna judge them. Oh, uh, maybe they think you're gonna judge them by their weight, their size, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a little on the thick side. I don't give a fuck what nobody think about how they feel about it. I used to be little, you know what I'm saying? But not so much no more. I don't know. Ever since the pandemic and we had to sit in the house and just be sitting around, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't wait. But it is what it is. But I'm definitely getting like, um, you are perfectly beautiful as you are. You are loved as you are. This twin flame is gonna love you as you are. Um, get back to nature and reconnect to your uh, hippie, hippie roots. So somebody needs to get out of nature, plant your feet in the soil, in the soil hug a tree, whatever, go sit by some water. And as a matter of fact, that's a dove. You see all the doves? And it's that's crazy that we see doves here. Hold on. So it says sometimes God's spirit hovers comforting, comfortingly, comforting. I'm trying to say comfortingly, comforting like a dove. Okay. So it says spirit hovers like a dove over you. Okay. So know that you are protected and you are protected in this journey that you want to, this twin flame journey, if that's what you choose. Okay. Get back to nature. And then like I see all these doves. So I'm telling you, get out of nature. You might be seeing doves. You might have saw a dove. I don't know. It's okay. So just stop judging and start loving. Okay. So let's see. Let me get one more. Uh -huh. 18, 18 on the clock. I just saw. It says, believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. Okay. Believe in yourself. The place to start, and I said, Hey, what a wonderful kind of day! You learn to laugh and play and get along with each other. You gotta listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, or move it in your feet. Yeah, okay, so look, it comes from the heart, believe in yourself. Okay, so believe in yourself, unleash your inner unicorn. So, y'all know unicorns are rare, they're rare, you know what I'm trying to say, they're very special. Um. And that's what you are. And it's time for you to unleash the beast. Unleash the unicorn. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. That's the place to start. And I said, hey. I dropped the car, y'all. Hey. I don't know where it's at. I ain't gonna worry about the car. Okay, let's get one more. And I'm gonna let y'all go. And I hope this helped. So, I don't know who this for, but that's the reason why you haven't had a child yet. Okay, because um, it said turn criticism into kindness. I don't know, maybe people criticize you or um, you're being criticized for what, whatever reason. I'm not sure, but um, 
It says turn their criticism into kindness. That's what people need to do. Be more kind. You know what I'm saying? Turn their criticism. Quit criticizing people. Quit judging people. Somebody's because we got stop judging and start loving. Then you got to turn criticism into kindness. So if somebody criticize, cr- criticizing you, just like some people do up on my posts or whatever, just like that man did when I was in the store buying my phone and he criticized me about what I do and saying I should do this and do that. Stop criticizing. Start loving. Stop judging. Spirit says stop judging and start loving. That's exactly what he should have done. That's exactly what they need to do. That's exactly what you will do. Okay? I'm trying to tell you. It says gratitude rampage. List 10 things that you're thankful for. Let's get it done. And I'm going to list the 10 things that I'm thankful for. I'm going to write them down and I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell y'all the 10 things that I'm thankful for. Okay? So yeah, let's make a list and write the things that you are most thankful for. Okay, y'all. So I hope they help. And I really do mean it. Write that list. Write those 10 things down and tell me what you're thankful for. I don't care if you have to email me and let me know what you're thankful for because them 10 things is enough to keep going. You see what I'm saying? Those 10 things are enough to keep you going. You know, if you if you feel what I'm saying, because for me, it's, the, it's the, my kids, it's, you know, the people around me. Is you know, I got a lot of things, but like I said, I don't want to say I'm here, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna write them down, I'll come back and I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm thankful for. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all are thankful for too. Even if you have to post them in the comments, post those ten those ten things that you are most thankful for, and those are the things that's gonna keep you that, that keep you going, you know what I'm saying? They keep me going. Like the out the outside world, I don't need them, I don't need nobody as long as I got them. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm content with it. So yeah, let's get it done, y'all, and I love y'all and um I'll see you guys uh, a little later. Oh, yeah, I'm open for uh, readings. Actually, I'm doing, like, I want to say, I'm doing mini readings. I wanna, I'm going to charge $30 for the little mini readings or whatever. So, if y'all want to get some mini readings done, it's fine. If you want to get some questions answered, it's fine. So, I usually charge $10 a question, but I'm doing $5 a question right now. Um, So, yeah, y'all get at me if you want that done. I'm I'm always free, you know what I'm saying? So get at me.